blessed people uh, this Sunday morning, this very powerful Sunday morning. The reason I come to you is because this past night, the Lord Jehovah Yahweh, the mighty God of Israel, Jehovah Adonai, the Lord God, Jehovah Bara, the Lord, the Creator, Jehovah Elion, the Lord Most High, Jehovah Rufe, the Lord that healeth, he spoke with me this night, very much aware that today is the grand, mega, super glorious healing service, especially to a nation that needs so much healing today here and many other nations that have gathered and tuned in. And this past night, blessed people, the Lord lifted me up and took me right straight into heaven. Again, this past night, into the wee hours of this morning, the Lord Jehovah Yahweh, Jehovah Elion, Jehovah Hashofet, the righteous judge, he lifted me up from the earth, and heaven opened, and he brought me right into the kingdom of God Almighty in heaven, the place that all of you long to be in at the end of it all. When it's all said and done, every single person would want to end up in heaven. So he brought me to heaven, and he took me into the holy of holies. This is the throne room of the Lord. That is where the earth of the covenant of the Lord is the throne room of God Almighty, and then he took me behind the throne room and he showed me the tremendous tree of life, the wonderful, powerful tree of life that is well celebrated in the Bible, the tree whose leaves, if a man eats it of, they live forever. The tree whose leaves are for the healing of the nation. If you read your Bible in the book of Revelation, the leaves of the tree of life are for the healing of the nation. And so the Lord Jehovah Yahweh, he lifted me up and brought me into the glorious kingdom of God, Jehovah Seli, the Lord my rock, Jehovah Ori, the Lord my life, he took me into his throne room, and behind the throne room, he led me, and then he showed me the tremendous tree of life on this side and on this other side of the river of life. And then at that point, I saw the river of life flowing so powerfully with the life-giving Spirit of the Lord. This past night, very much aware that many people are coming together into this tremendous, super glorious, most historic, grand, mega healing service, well announced, that has been well publicized. And then the Lord, he plucked the leaves from the tree of life and he placed the leaves upon my hand and the leaves flourished very, very mightily. The leaves flourished in my hand very mightily and became huge plants, very, very huge plants, plant, blossomed and flourished in Swahili. Ika mea sana mikono ni mwangu sasa na matawi zake makubwa makubwa ya kijani kibichi ya nyengubu sana ya hale matawi ambazo Bwana mwenye asema ni za uponyaji kwa mataifa. Ukisoma kwenye Biblia, it's a hili, I've just repeated what I said in English, that when the Lord Yahweh placed with his hand, God the Father, the Lord God himself, Jehovah Mephalchi, the Lord my deliverer, when he placed those leaves upon my hand, they blossomed and became very mature plants, very fast, instant. It was a wonder. It's a stunning sight to behold at the throne of God Almighty in heaven. And then at that time, they blossomed. And then 
At the same time, he cut some of them. I don't know how much detail I can give you here today, but he cut some of the leaves again, cut them into smaller pieces and prepared for the seeding of the nation. And then he said, now go prepare the nation for the glorious coming of the Messiah. These are for the healing of the nation. Then at that hour, I found myself back on the earth here, blessed people, ready for this tremendous, super glorious healing service ahead of us here. And it's amazing that at that time, again, it slayed me. I fell asleep again. And when I fell asleep, then the Lord now carried his hand. I saw the hands of the Lord, the two hands, with the fruit from the tree of life, a serious punch, and he gave me and placed in my hand the fruit from the tree of life. Not just the leaves, but now the fruit, and I saw that the fruit were ripe. He was awesome. Now he presents the fruit of the tree of life here to me after I had arrived here. Blessed people, the Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 9, verse 35, he says, Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God, and healing every disease and sickness. And when you read the book of Matthew, chapter 4, 23, the father says, Jesus went throughout the Galilee, that is Kinneret, he went throughout the Galilee, teaching in their synagogue, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every sickness among the people. Blessed people, the Lord has spoken with me this past night. He lifted me up and brought me to the glorious kingdom of Yahweh, the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God Almighty, Jehovah Elohim, the most glorious kingdom of God in heaven. And the Lord gave me such a powerful message for you people that are gathered in 87 strong stadiums. The Lord sent me to you today with such a mighty visitation as you are gathered in your stadium, 87 strong stadium. This is a wonder. And so after that, then I saw many cripples get up as I came to you now. Many blind eyes opened. Many crippled babies, crippled men, crippled children, boys and girls get up and walk. I have seen them walking. I've seen big joy, explosion of revival. It's uncontrollable. After that, many blind eyes open. I see little babies. Some of them are blind. I think two or three years old or so. And many adults also. Blind eyes open and they can now reach out. They are trying to see objects for the first time in shock and wonder. Many deaf ears open. Many lame legs stretched and strengthened. Paralytics walk. The, the mute speak. The deaf and the dumb now speaking. Spinal cord injuries. Broken knees. Those with cerebral brain injuries, cancer, tumors, paralysis, stroke. I have seen bleeding diseases, wounds. He showed me quite a few wounds that are being healed today, are going to be healed ahead of us here. Every disease under the sun, hydrocephaly. Those with internal bleeding. Those where the doctor said, forget it. We have tried and reached the end. Those demons possessed, mentally ill, all the conditions listed, the Lord is coming to bring a mega, mega healing anointing that is going to flow over the 87th stadium. It will be a wonder. It will be a wonder. One of the wonders of this age. Why? Because the blood of Jesus is still flowing. And the Messiah is coming, blessed people. So there is a tremendous healing anointing that is going to flow across the stadium. The blood of Jesus is going to cover the stadium and bring unbelievable healing to you today. Shocking, historic healing. And I have seen the two prophets 
ministering in a mighty way. Today, across the stadium, and I heard the voice of the Lord yesterday say that some people are saying that they have cited the two mighty men of God by voice the Lord spoke to across the healing services. It's going to be very powerful today. Mighty, mighty historic anointing of the Lord is going to flow across this land, across the 87 stadiums gathered with cripples, blind, deaf, mute, lame, paralytic, spinal cord injuries, tumors, cancers, everything, kidney failures, heart conditions. It's an awesome time to be a Christian, to be alive. This is the moment of the end time revival. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Toda shalom. Toda rabab okertov.